Hi guys, good evening to Rashidi again. I'm just about to prepare dinner for tonight. Uh, actually, a very simple because I don't want to spend too much time in the kitchen. So I looked what I had in the fridge. I had a little bit vegetable from here and there. And so I'm doing just green vegetable. But I'm sorting it nicely to get the flavor. I have uh, onion, ginger and garlic. And so this I will use for the vegetable. Then I have sweet potatoes, uh, which I just do roast potatoes with it. I blanch them and then just make root po roast potatoes. So uh, not much seasoning, just salt, pepper. And for the potatoes, I have a, a potato spice, which is like dried onions and stuff like this. So it's a bit of and peppers and so it's, it's nice to, to give an extra flavor. And here I have the star of the plate is my ribeye steak. And I will just season it with salt and pepper and just finish it off at the end on top with a little bit of, of herb butter, uh, garlic and herb butter, which I made the other day. So which is just very little bit of, of mint and a little bit of coriander, a uh, lot of parsley and garlic and butter, that's it. So very, 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 very simple. And now let's go. So my water is boiling. So I just put a little bit salt here. And another pot, separate pot for the potatoes. Here we go. So the beans will take longest, the green beans. So I put them first. In the meantime, I put the potatoes here. Because the vegetable, I cook them together in the same pot, but uh, it's all different cooking timing. So like the, my green peas, they will only need uh, a minute. The broccoli a little bit longer. So next, after a minute for the beans, the next I will put the broccoli and then the baby marrow and then the green peas. Okay, so as I said, broccoli next. Just give it, give it one boil and then I will, I will add my baby marrow. So potatoes start boiling, so it's good. So I can add the baby marrow now. And now I will give it two minutes and then I will put the green so I added the green piece. So now I give it another two minutes. In the meantime, I will start to get the pan ready for the vegetable to finish it off. So I put some butter. I just want to finish it nicely with butter. I'm using Lupak, which is perfect for that. So now put it together, ginger, garlic and onion. So I cook it slowly, but basically I have to have it ready, completely, completely cooked because the vegetable will be, will be ready. I want the vegetable just flavoring. So that means the onions and ginger has to be completely cooked before I put the vegetables in. So my potatoes are almost done because I don't cook them completely through because I will also finish them in the pan. As I said, I want to have roast potatoes. I will finish them as a pan when the pan is butter. Okay, so I put the onions. I'm gonna check my vegetable. Done. Remove them, take them out. All nice, green. See, sometimes I use a vegetable because I all different veg color for color on the plate because I want color on the plate. But then I decided to use everything everything green only. So just, so I have four different vegetables, but all green, voila. Okay. So my onions are ready. They start to get uh, color, which I don't really want. A little bit, because the onions taste better when they start to get a bit of color. So now I put the vegetable in. Just season it with the salt, a little pepper, and uh, that's basically it. Voila, here we are. I put it on the side until the rest of my dish is ready. <coughs> Meantime, my, my potatoes should be done. So, finish them in here. So I put, put them straight from the pot in the, in the pan. Put 
because okay so I just seize my state the salt and pepper enough pepper okay. nice nice meat I like what I like on the ribeye is the piece which gives the ribeye the name which is the eye in, in the middle which is uh, some people don't like it they remove the fat but this is actually what gives the flavor to, to the meat so my pan is hot so I put a little bit of a little bit of oil not too much and put my steak Okay, here we go. I will cook it, cook it just, uh, just about medium, not, not more. And then I finish the seasoning of my vegetable, and then we can have dinner. Okay, so I season my sweet potatoes just with a little bit of, as I said, all potato spice. And the salt, and the pepper. And that's it, nothing, nothing else. Almost done because you have seen I cooked them before, so it's pretty fast now. But I want the nice, the butter flavor really in there. Okay, my steak is almost almost done. Now, I didn't put a lot of oil, but the little oil which I put, up, put, put out. Because as I said earlier, I want to finish it nicely in garlic butter. And this is what I, I will do now. Now the flavor, now I finish it slow, put the temperature down, and it's beautiful. The vegetable is mainly, it's ready also, just need to check the seasoning, potatoes the same. And now I will take the meat out in a minute and will rest it for 2-3 minutes before I slice it. Okay. So I'll turn it one more time to get a nice flavor and now I will remove it, remove it from the okay. So now we start to, to dress. I will start with my potatoes first. Beautiful, nice, crispy. It's how a roast potato has to be. Yeah. Vegetable. Nice and green. But you see, I put a lot of, lot of onions and ginger and garlic because I, I want the nice for the beef. I want the nice strong flavor because it depends on if I would have uh, chicken or I would have fish or something. I would do the vegetable less, less powerful. But with the beef, I want it really, really nice and powerful. So let's cut it now. The little bit juice, what is there? I put it in the in the pan. With the butter. So let's cook it, slice it nicely. Really good. So really when I cut it, I can feel how nice and tender it is. So here we go. Go in one. On the plate. I'll finish it off with a, with a garlic butter. This is where the where the flavor, where the taste is. Because when you when if you use a pan. If you make a sauce, or in this case just the butter, always use use the pan where you cook the meat, where you cook the meat in, because the cooking the flavor from the meat is is in there. Now I will finish it. It's a nice like I always do. I think there is no there is no dish there hasn't been any dish in my kitchen where which I didn't finish with a nice piece of of basil 
at, at 10. And I am so proud of my homegrown basil. So here we go.